Happening right now at 4.30, all eyes on Dallas after the service today to honor the five lives lost last week. Even as the president leaves North Texas, one theme that remains is Dallas strong. In the next few days, we will begin to say our final goodbyes to the officers killed in the line of duty. But as today's memorial ceremony at the Meyerson National and local leaders eulogizing the fallen officers got underway, it was also a tough occasion for many as well. Yeah, a somber occasion for sure. It was not without its lighter moments, though, and our Ken Malacita joins us with that part of the story. Yeah, Kayla, you know, the mood is certainly somber as we saw, but with so much weighing in the hearts of so many of us, Kaylee, you hit the nail right on the head earlier in this newscast. Those moments of humor, those were welcomed. On this day of continuous mourning, there were moments of laughter while remembering those fallen officers. Moments with a simple message reminding the nation of the sacrifices made by the officers and their families. As he eulogized Officer Patrick Zamaripa, former President Bush reminded everyone of his favorite team. Patrick Zamaripa, U.S. Navy Reserve Combat Veteran, proud father, and loyal Texas Rangers fan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dallas Police Chief David Brown invoking so Stevie much. Wonder's song, I'll Be Loving You Always, with a personal anecdote. When I was a teenager and started liking girls, <laughs> I, I could never find the right words to express myself. So for girls I liked, I would pull out some Al Green or some... Teddy Pendergrass or some <laughs> Isley Brothers, and I'd recite the lyrics to their love songs. But for people I loved, if I fell in love with a girl, oh, I had to dig down deep and get some Stevie Wonder. <laughs> to fully express the love I had for the, for the girl. Concluding that there's no greater love than this, that these five men gave their lives for us. He introduced the president, who began with another moment of levity. I'm so glad I met Michelle first, because she loves Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Despite the light humor, President Obama sought to reassure people that the country was not divided and that Americans have more in common with each other. So many people there today uh, sharing a very human moment and uh, letting off a little bit, uh, I guess, of steam of so much of the pressure that has been mounting on so many of them in the past days. President Obama said the pain may not soon pass, but those officers, he said, did not die in vain. Doug. 